Hey YouTube, we're talking multi dogs. We're talking multi dogs, multi scenarios. I've actually got two dogs out right now, but you can have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The scenarios, the examples we give are exactly the same. Now, if you know someone who has multi dogs, please share this video. We want you to make sure that they do not miss out and we want to make sure that you do not miss out either. So I'm working with my Ditch the Bowl. Now this is Ditch the Bowl goat. Wild here is on a, an elimination diet at the moment. So we're trying to work out something that's irritating our pad. Anyway, the dermatologist has told me goat. So Wild is eating goat, wild goat, ironically. Uh, and so I'm going to be using this as her food. I'm going to give her a little bit, but actually she isn't really necessarily going to need the same rate of reinforcement as this little diva here, because this little monkey is actually got a lot more to learn. Now, I want you to check out my setup. You might think that this is a park bench or a, a bench that people sit on and, and congregate and have a nice time and eat. You will be wrong. This is not a bench that you would think about in a conventional sense. This is a bench with a multi-purpose and I'm using it as a boundary. Now, when you're out and about, you can pick boundaries all over that might suit you. Just obviously remind your guests to make sure before they sit on the table that maybe we use a tablecloth. It's all good. That's a boundary. So I'm using that as a boundary. I'm using this as a boundary. This is, no, 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 you're not using this. I am using this. Um, and this is also a boundary. So I've got another boundary here. Now, when I'm considering this as a boundary, this is a very easy boundary because actually it's got very set sort of um, rules, right? Like we're in the crate. That is a set rule place. I could open that crate and that could add another dimension into it. I've then got this as a boundary. So some of you might have seen these, some sort of outside bed that your dog can be on. And then I've got this as a boundary. Now, all of these are different learning stages and different sets of privileges. So these are privileges. And for me, multi-dog management these make a massive massive difference now she can handle me working with her that's something we'll train up to and I will reinforce her for making great decisions but not as frequently as we will reinforce her now when she comes out very nice we're gonna feed back there very nice now we're playing some of the games from the training academy some of the games from uh, the training academy that help to build some level of self-control and I would say first off with multi-dog management is set yourself up correctly. You can see that we're set up really, really nicely. Get in there, good girl. Um, so we're set up really nicely. Actually, I can reinforce her. I can reinforce, good girly. I can reinforce her. And actually, I know it's super hard. So we're playing a mouse game, which is basically cage the mouse. Oi, 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 you are very fast. I got it back. That's my mouse. That's my mouse. Very nice. You like the mouse. It's a very nice mouse. Um, so, so for me, these are the things that we would set up very nicely playing the games in a, in a group setting once our dogs are comfortable. Now, if our dogs aren't comfortable in this group setting, very nice. If they're not comfortable in a group setting like this, then what I actually will do is play these games individually and then grow them in so we do them together once we feel that individually is, is set up. That was very clever of you. You shouldn't have really got off, but at least you hop up. Thank you. Got back on again. Very nice. Very nice. Super nice. Good. See you, bed. Now, allowing myself the setup, the crate, the bed, the bench, and all of the surroundings, that makes a massive difference when it comes to multi-dog considerations. Because actually, when you've got multi-dogs, you do need to set up for success. If I just came out and went, hey, let's see what we've got, you might get a squabble between food, you might get a little bit of rivalry, you could potentially get a lot of arousal, excitement, you could get a lot of bouncing, barking, buzzing, and generally, in fact, you know what, be ready for this because I want to mute. I want you to know if you've got a noisy dog or a dog that's gonna worry about my noise, I'll show you what I mean. If I came out and thought, right, what shall we do right now? Cruz, what shall we do? Ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're really ready. What shall we do? Ready? I'm not sure what we should do. Ready? And we can go from having, Cruzy, come here, up here, up, up. We can go from having, uh, no, 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 up, up. Quiet and decorum, you really are going up. Thank you, uh, thank you. Uh, you can go from having quiet and decorum and everything seeming like it's very well managed to absolute chaos. And I did give you the noise warning. And so what I would say to all of you is that it really is multi-dog households, you're staying up there, 
Um, Multi-dog households is all about how you set it up and the energy in which you come with it at, and also how you define that session. For me, multi-dog training, set up correctly. Get your dog to, to ditch the bowl and earn. Decide who is ready for privileges and who maybe isn't ready for privileges because some are much more ready for privileges than others. So some ready for privileges, less potential privileges and actually gradually grow the whole picture without asking for the whole picture today. So actually for her, you can see well, Dee, that we've got some of these beds happening and they're actually looking quite nice. They're actually looking for a young dog. We're playing some aeroplane. I didn't get the aeroplane in the tunnel. We're playing some mouse. Oh, it's a mouse. It's a big mouse. It's a very nice mouse. I know. And actually, we're managing to do all of these things, which I think are very, 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 very um, hard for her. You can see the level of sort of excitement here with another dog's presence. Equally, get it? Equally for the other dog, actually, I think it can be quite important that you do reinforce, but you reinforce appropriately in the right time. Ideally, she'd have caught it, but there you go. That's dog training for you. And so for her, she doesn't need the same rate of reinforcement as she does. So you need to look at your own household and decide actually, what stage is my dog at? What stage are they ready for? What stage can I push them onto? Actually, do they need holding back? Do I need to keep the arousal down? You saw how quickly I could create chaos. No, we're not gonna create chaos again. We're going back up here, thank you. And up to that one, and up to that one, thank you. Uh, and so for me, you can see how it can go potentially wrong. And actually you can see how it can go very, very right too. Ultimately, what I would say to everybody out there and, and things like this don't allow them just because we're on a camera no you can settle thank you just just because you're under pressure in some way it might be you've got a family member over or for me i've got the cameras here don't be under the illusion that actually you can let them get away with it now and then later on uh, you can put those rules back in again for me establish what you want look for what you want this is what i want these are the sorts of behaviors i'm looking for set yourself up accordingly ditch the bowl to help you out to put the value in the places that you need and you are on to a winner now if you haven't already liked and, and been part of literally our youtube channel make sure you do hit subscribe be part of it you're part of the family you're part of the absolute dogs team we're going to keep sharing with you you've got lots to share with you just like this equally if you haven't shared it with a friend a family member a lover a long lost lover a sister a brother you know what share it because actually that's how this ripple effect grows you guys are awesome you rock we'll see you real soon game changers Remember Game Changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember, to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.